So you want to know how to use Healbot. Well, I'm going to give you a quick little tutorial really quick on how to use it. First of all, you have to want to go download it and have it all ready to go. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open Healbot, which I do backslash HB for Healbot. And it's going to open up this panel here. Uh, what Healbot is, is it's basically a program that creates boxes of you and your RAID members in order to click to heal. Um, I'm a semi-casual player. I, I, I play quite a bit, but uh, a lot of people do not like this way of healing. They think it's an easier, simple way, but it is. And uh, it frees me up to do other stuff in raids, like a uh, little bit of DPS or, or have fun. And, and for me, it, it just makes the game more enjoyable. So anyways, over here on the left is basically all the information you need, general healing whatnot okay well general I kind of just leave healing when you go to here this is so you could put different people in different categories of boxes and what I mean by that is I'll show you here test bars um, this is one large group see I can move everybody together if you wanted to you could make it where uh, the tanks are these four bar are these two bars and you can move over here or the healers are these four and you could separate it that is pretty easy so all you'd want to do is go over and say okay I want the main tanks in group two okay and then it, it'll break off branch off and you should be able to see exactly they're right here so you can move them so say you want your tanks I don't know closer up here so now your tanks are there um, I prefer them all in one group uh, and that should put it back that's just the way I like to do it okay so next is headers I really don't mess a lot of this stuff you guys can mess around on your own uh, it's just different colors different styles I, I like it pretty basic and generic bars now what this will do is I would recommend going down and down to test and turning the test bars on so you can kind of see what you're doing and what you want to do here is bars this is the the width the height so if I want to make them uh, longer shorter I like them kind of compact and within this area that's where I like them here you could do any way the occupancy um, anything the width even the spaces in between uh, that is something that you have to figure out on your screen. I use a 40 inch monitor, so I have a lot of room. Okay, your icons. These are going to be the D puffs. It's going to show um, a little symbol. Like, let me see if I can show you. Uh, let me let me get these test page gone. Uh, and on me, when I put, let me put a uh, shield on me. What's over here? When you put a shield on me. You see this little shield here? That's an icon. That shows that there is water shield on me. So that's what those things are. Um, so back to heal bot. That's what those are. And that would be under icons. And that's something else you can mess with. Basically what I want to show you is how to get it up and running. So the main thing is, is what spells to what buttons you want. And what I mean by that is you want to come over here to spells. All right, you have the options of left, middle, right, and then all the other buttons. I normally just use it for my mouse. So what you're going to do is left, this is your left mouse. There's just regular click, there's shift and click, there's control and click, there's alt and click, shift control, click, and all the way down. So what you're going to do is your left. So on my left click on my shaman, if I left click any bar, it's going to do healing wave and that's what is set up here if I shift click so now I'm going to hold down shift and click it's going to do riptide and what you do is you just type in the name of the spell here and just make sure you, you spell it right and then mid and then right I really don't use all these because um, I do a lot of shift click and whatnot so another thing you want to do is get this so once you get those set up so that now if you look Um, like I'll do left click, so my healing wave, shift left, is 
Rise Riptide. I'm hitting the middle mouse. I'm doing Chain Heal. If I hold down Shift the middle mouse, that is Heal Surge. Right click is my Greater Healing Wave. So once you got that established, which one you want, go ahead and do that. The next important thing that I think is really important is knowing what buffs are missing. And what I mean by that, if you go to buffs, you can actually set up for this green box. It, the box stays green 100%, and as it goes down, it goes to red. So that's how you know if people need healing. So for instance, um, I want to know if my focus, which would be my tank, I always focus the main tank, has earth shield on. I could change all the bar colors what I want. I normally like it gray. So for instance, on myself, I have it where I need Earth Living Weapon and Water Shield. See, I just clicked off Water Shield. While you are out of combat, all you need to do is click the gray box and it will apply whatever you tell it to here. While in combat, you have to assign these to one of the things I said over here under the healing. You'd have to, I'm sorry, under spells, you'd have to assign it. So for instance, mine uh, shift right click will put earth shield on so shift right on my target during combat but out of combat it'll just apply it if you put it under buffs so you got a lot of buffs you can do here so once that all happens you just want to test look at your test and code through here change your bars Make them different colors. There, if you go under bars, there's different uh, textures. You can do this. You can do that. Um, you can do whatever. What I'm going to do is try to edit this. So when I get into a group, I'm going to actually show you it uh, working. So uh, I hope that answers the question. This is very basic, and this is all you really need to know. And like I said, you're just going to be t tapping these bars. It's going to be very easy. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this, but I will uh, restart with some footage, hopefully, of um, actually in a raid. Okay, so here I am in a raid. Here are the raid frames. Um, I'm buffed, and my focus, which is the tank, has his buff. Uh, so you can see here, there's actually another shaman who has Death Hero who has it. If I was to remove this and, say, put it on someone else... Um, like so, he will turn gray because he needs his buff. Remember, we set that up earlier, so I'm going to put my buff back on him. And once we get into combat, there's a little bit of, um, might be a little bit of lag uh, on the video. I, I actually don't lag in the game, but for some reason with fraps, um, I'm lagging. So these here are the bars. So all I have to do is use the appropriate button per bar. So once we go into combat, I can show you that when people actually start to lose health. Uh, this thing can be moved around. Uh, sometimes I'll lock it. Uh, move around. You can put it wherever you want. This is where I said you can do different groups. Actually, also I was going to tell you guys, you can go through Tealbot over here on this H once you download it. I always do HB. I don't know why, but just so you guys know, we, uh, we had some trouble the first time around. I'm just doing this to get some off-spec gear. So at any moment, we should be pulling. Um, and I can show you 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So if you notice, when people are getting damaged, the bar goes from full to small and then it will also turn red um, and so basically I'm pushing the appropriate keys as I'm touching these boxes so it's healing those people it's kind of hard to show but um, like right now I'm doing chain heal which remember was my middle button so I'm basically uh, spamming that middle bu button for now um, I'll lay this down I have another uh, couple add-ons as you can see uh, there's some really great stuff um, move it, I believe it's called, or move me, or something like that. You can move everything in the game. As you can tell, my setup is uh, pretty pretty unique to my own taste. Uh, but this is basically how you set it up. And then depending on what class you are, this is my uh, shaman, and I do have a couple other healers. 
but this is how I, I heal and, and and I do a pretty pretty decent job um, if you see up here I'm doing you know, 25 percent of the healing and I'm talking I'm not really paying attention so um, I, I believe it has a great advantage to the game and uh, you know it, it makes the game a little easier but uh, you know the game is you pay your fifteen dollars a month you play any way you want I mean one thing about World of Warcraft is uh, people are they seem to be very mean and have their own opinions on how you should play or how you know i'm pretty much an elitist to the point of uh specking correctly using the right gems uh being the best that i could be looking up theory crafting and whatnot but obviously i'm doing looking for raid and i'm not in a um in a high-end raiding guild at this time so if you look up here still still talking still healing but if you can look one of the tanks who's a death knight is healing pretty good uh they can heal themselves so if you have any questions uh, i'm going to try and post these as much as possible but uh let me know and please subscribe because uh i want more than two people to watch these so uh have a great day man rock on My